Welcome back to Area 51, this is Area, and today I'm tutorializing you. As I mentioned in the very first video I put out, uh, a friend has asked me to run a tutorial for this elevator, so that's what I'm going to do. As a reminder, here's what an elevator does, in all its noisy piston glory. Fabulous. So I'm going to hop over to a creative world and be right back with you. Alright, so welcome to my test world. This is a place of madness, uh, but here is what we're looking at today in its miniaturized format. I'm not going to remind you how an elevator works again. It's fine. First up, I figured it might actually be a nice idea to run you in on my full process when I'm building something like this. Uh, this is the full extent of the wiring in terms of space. And I don't think it's possible to get it more compacted than that. There's some things that have to take place uh, in order for it to not horribly break. I don't know. If you can make it more compact, by all means, video response me. So the first thing to do when figuring this out, as in how to build one in the first place is figure out exactly what you need it to do uh, and obviously you want the piston to extend out of the wall and the piston to extend upwards but you need the piston like the sticky piston is holding the upwards piston you need that to stay out longer therefore you need a pulse extender what you conclude you need to do is to essentially send power through this block into this block which does that and then the pulse extender will send a delayed pulse into that piston. So then this one deactivates, but the sticky piston remains extended. This one contracts, and then finally this one retracts. And then it's just a matter of automating that process, which is what this does. And this, very simply, is exactly the wiring plan that you need in order to produce that. Uh, underneath here is a torch and that is literally all there is to it. And you loop it up and for the other side you flip it around and that's it. So, how exactly to build this? Alright, just had to sleep quickly because it was reaching night and you don't really want to do this in the dark. Took the liberty of producing these platforms. This is the staggered look that is going to go on there. And it's raised off the ground to make this part easier. Essentially, to send the signal into it to start it up, you want lock there with a torch on. And you want a block here with a torch on. Redstone wire away, and you can wire these into whatever you want uh, for the purposes of this. I can use a button. I only use pressure plates on mine because buttons are a bit fiddly. And that's fine. So, how do we actually put this thing together? Well, I'm going to concentrate on the lower lo level first and then flip it. Um, so, your pistons are going to be not there, there and there. Blocks here and here. Now you need to punch this one out and this will have a torch on it. That should be in the off state. Block on top of that. Then there will be a block here which will also have a torch on it. You want repeaters here set to two. One set here. You can set this to two but as is the case with a lot of worlds and my let's play world, you need to set it to free, otherwise it will cause problems. Uh, it's due to some kind of lag. Redstone wire all around here, and a redstone repeater right there, set to one. That's one layer done, completely. To flip this around, you do literally flip it around. Raise it one block. Um, let's put the pistons in first, as I did. So, right there, block there, block there, punch this out, redstone torch there, block there, block there, redstone torch there, repeat it here, 
set to two. Repeater here, set to three. Redstone, and final repeater there, set to one. Now you will notice that these are linking to stop that. Just shove a block there, and that will automatically block itself as you build each layer of the elevator. Uh, down here, quickly, because I forgot this, you do actually want to... Hmm, I'll just drop this back a bit. Set this to 2, uh, just to delay between them. I'm going to put that back a little bit, just because that won't actually fire that way. Okay, so that's that. In order to build this higher, just keep repeating the pattern. Uh, all you need is all you need is love no <laughs> right there leave that as the gap build this up uh, across here across here and here so this is the next level the torch right there block on top of it block on top of that and the repeaters which Putting it in a completely different order to how I built the last levels, but don't worry, it is exactly the same. You can just keep repeating that. And a virus scan has just minimized my game. I really need to stop recording while that happening. In fact, I'm going to check the recording's working. Now, by rights, it, I should scrap that, but it's my own stupid fault. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. Redstone wire around and block it. And you can just keep repeating this pattern up. When I'm building the things, I tend to do the entirety of one side and then jump down and do the other side and build it all the way up. Uh, I forgot the pistons. <laughs> They're kind of important. A bit integral to the design, you might say. Actually knock that out. Um, because this, this will be where you stand, effectively. Um, and if we fire it up, that's how it goes on this model you can see I've got one piston down here and in fact the pressure plates just send signal straight through the thing on a slight delay set according to the time it takes to sprint from that to this uh, it's through the block underneath and then that just passes through and up it's not complex and I throw in the water because that's the quick way down I've not quite devised a system to make it stop at floors and go up and down and all that jazz. I'm going to. Look for that one. But all in all, yeah, it's a very, very simple thing to build. Just take this pattern and repeat it up in a column. And of course, <laughs> remember to block off the redstone wires from linking when you reach the top. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hit some buttons if you agree with their associated sentiments. So I realized I just completely skipped over the fact that I have this block of four pistons at the top to push you out. It's not actually a critical design feature, but if you wanted to know how that's done, it's just simply intercepting the redstone signal, sending it across, up, and yeah, it, you just use the signal that's passed up and feed it into the pistons in such a way that doesn't affect anything below it which this does and that's how you push yourself out if you're really lazy and can't be bothered to walk thanks for watching